God, fuck me. So, listen, the opener on this, man, if you got Peacock, watch the opener with Charlotte and Becky. Yes. And the main event was good. It wasn't great. It was good. And, like, you know, then don't watch anything else. I mean, this fucking show. Here's the problem with this show, as I, as I tweeted out. At the top, you know, they brought out Roman Reigns and, and Big E for the main event. And... uh the bell rang at six minutes past 11 on the East Coast. 11.06 p.m., okay? At that point, at 11.06 p.m., there had been 107 minutes of wrestling on a show that had been on the air for 186 minutes. <laughs> 79 minutes of this show were entrances, video packages, commercials, skits, 79 fucking minutes over an hour and 15 minutes of time on the show was devoted to entrances and videos and a bunch of stupid skits involving Vince McMahon and a fucking golden egg. Brutal. Fucking brutal. I thought it was a golden football at first. Thought maybe he was starting another football league. Whatever it Gosh. was. Jesus, God almighty. I, I, I don't want to pull a Dave here, but I fucking went to Defy last night. Yep. And then I came home to watch this fucking excruciatingly long show. This show could have been done. I mean, I can't do math, but, you know, <laughs> the show could have been done in two hours if they really wanted to. Sure. And at the very least, it should have been over in three hours. I it enjoyed, didn't need to go three and a half. I enjoyed Impact's turning point on Saturday more. I mean, now, I'm I, sure I get, it was probably a lot better. Like, I, I think Becky and Charlotte was... Probably better than any match on Turning Point. I thought that opener was fantastic. But Turning Point just clicked along. It was like a match and then an entrance and a match and a match. And it was like little, I think it was two and a half hours. And it was great. Now, I know that some people are going to listen to this and go, oh, here we go again. Your paycheck from Tony Khan clearly cashed. Bro, first off, fuck off. And second off, watch the whole show, okay? Sit and watch three and a half hours of this show. And you're going to see the crowd chanting for CM Punk. And doing the fucking wave. There's a spot in the main event where Roman starts yelling at the crowd, telling them to shut up. Because they were quiet. They were, like, dead quiet. And so he's yelling at them to shut up, hoping that that would make them, like, cheer. We had fucking Survivor Series matches with three countouts in a single fucking match. The, uh, should we just start? Yeah, but before you do, it's like, it's the curse of Survivor Series, in my opinion, in that... It's like there's no title matches and none of the results matter. Like before it even starts, it's like what can possibly matter on this show? Mm -hmm. Because there there can't be any follow up on it because it's the one night every year that brand people fight each other, and it's like every champion's on the show but no titles on the line. Like there just isn't anything. Like I wish they'd change the format of this show. Because I think it'd be so much easier to watch. And then the other thing that I found... Oh, it's not that... even format, dude. And by the way, not to interrupt, but it's not a curse, Lance. Because it's like, by design. It's it's planned to be this way. It, they're not they're not stuck in some fucking, like, Toon Commons. Speaking of Cleopatra's egg. I mean, this isn't a curse. This is fucking stupidity. And it's not even like changing the format. All you have to do, format the fucking show the same way. But at least, like, have some... some Oh, the winners of the the Survivor Series match get this. The and not fucking pizza, by the way. I'm talking like spots in the Royal Rumble, or you know, if you're a sole survivor, you're guaranteed a championship match. I mean, I was watching this show with uh, a bunch of buddies, Horsemen's here, and and Rodney and Wes, and everyone's watching this show, fucking half asleep. And in in 30 seconds, I swear to God, these people that don't even watch WWE came up with 50 fucking great ideas of what you could do to make the matches fucking meaningful instead of, oh, we're just going to do some matches and then they're over and, you know, what the fuck? And they promote it as the one time per year that Raw and SmackDown go head to head. It's like, fucker, I've been watching these fuckers go head to head for like three months now. And in the middle of the fucking show, they announce, well, tomorrow on Raw, everyone from Raw and SmackDown is going to be on the show because Vince is missing a fucking egg. Oh, my gosh. And just two, like, I know they didn't advertise him. But when they do the cross promotion with Rock's movie, the entire show is so heavy. 
I was half expecting a rock cameo at the end to plug yep. his movie. The fans yep. in the building didn't leave when the match was over because they thought he was coming out. And he I, didn't. Yep. And by the way, Brian, when you yell at the, the listeners to actually watch the show, put your other screen down and actually pay attention and watch how much of a cluster this thing is. What thing? Just, the pay-per-view. I was watching the pay-per-view. Uh, no, Brian, why don't you listen when I'm talking? What are you talking about? You asked the listeners to actually watch the pay-per-view. No, I said, the, them, I said the people that said, has your, has your Tony Khan check paid yet? Yeah, I want them to watch the whole fucking show and suffer through it. Right, and then take your iPad, take your phone, and move it out of the way and actually Oh, I pay see attention. them. I thought you were talking yes. about me. No, Brian. Yeah, no one does that, but Let's that would be about- nice. Half about half half of the the thing with improv is you have to listen. I don't and listen. Is, I, I know. Got too much to be angry about. Again, maybe it's just that as a Canadian who has always had health insurance, this doesn't seem. Max, smart enough to this, be a big this deal. This is going to go to the best of right here, Lance. Yeah, you are being corralled away by uh, by this dog. By a dog trying to eat my wife's uh, boots. Oh man, oh, they said they must be tasty. Yeah, if my wife gets home and her good leather boots are chewed up, I'm dead. You'll be chewed up next. Yeah, I'll be living outside with the dog. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.